a bishop friend of mine just to give him a word from the Lord that God dropped in my heart for him. So, no, he, he, though he has called me before, but we couldn't speak. I was busy. When I called back, he too was busy. So when I called, he said, oh, that he had a vision, a revelation about me. Why I'm saying it is because of you, not because of me. I don't need any encouragement in that area. I'm already, I'm self-motivated. Amen. I'm, I don't need anybody to encourage me to be doing what I'm doing. And my encounter with God is enough an encouragement. So he said, I saw that you were on top of a very high mountain. We've not spoken for a long time. And he said, you were robed with prayer shawl, this Jewish mantle. I don't know if he has ever seen me with it. But this is not the first time people who have never seen me using prayer shawl always see me in the realm of the spirit with prayer shawl. Even though you're not seeing it physically now, it's on because it's, it's something. There's something it means. Prayer shawl is a secret place. It's figurative of the fact that you have withdrawn to the secret place to seek the one that is hiding. You know, it's a very little heart a God that what? That hides itself. So he said this. He said, then I saw that you were distributing bread to people, but not a common bread. He said, the bread has something inside, not butter. He, in his own word, he said mayonnaise. He said something that, as if it's a red mayonnaise. I don't know if there's red mayonnaise. I don't know. He said, but it is red. He said, people were gathering, crowd. He said, then as he looked closely, he saw that on that bread was written, oil of restoration. That's very direct. Praise the Lord. Now, the mountain top he saw is the 50 days. The bread he saw is the word you are receiving. It's the word. The word is meant to bring you to your place and then when you are in your place your provisions are already waiting for you where? in your place he said Jehovah my Jaira, Yahweh my Jaira, my ocean of mercies ocean of light redeemer of Israel you've given me everything I'm proud to be loved by you. You are my God. You've given me everything. On the mountain it shall be seen. You are my gyre. You are my. It's a song out of revelation. It wasn't, it's not a composed song. So when you are in your place, all your things that has been given to you, which are located on the mountain top, you receive them. And you are on the mountain. Amen. On no, your mountain. Now I want to give an altar call very quickly because of what I shared. And that's the reason why I shared it. For the benefit of one or two persons here, not everybody. You are here tonight about two categories of people I want to pray for. The first category of people are number one those who you have been serving god or so you thought but from the things you heard me share this night you know that you have been failing you have not been doing it truly you have not been serving god in truth and in spirit and having heard tonight though you have repented in your heart you want to rededicate your life by making a contact with the altar, I'd like you to step out of your seat quickly and come. Whether you have been born again before or not, can you come? Jehovah my Jireh, Yahweh my Jireh, my ocean of mercies, 
ocean of light, Redeemer of Israel, you've given me everything, I'm proud to be loved by you, you are my God. I'll give that altar call again. You know that your life is not right with God. You know you're not living right. And you have an opportunity of getting connected to the altar. Or you're asking your friend whether you should go. You're asking somebody whether you should go. He will not be there to bail you out on that day. If you go to hell, you will have yourself to be blamed. I would have been freed from your blood. Your blood will not be at my duty post or my door post. Come right now. Don't let this moment pass you by. All right. Those of us at the altar, can you pray this prayer with me? Or you were here, you, you were born again, you were sincerely serving God, but you backslided and you want to make a comeback. Come now. Don't waste this opportunity. Don't miss this opportunity. Come now. Now, those of you at the altar, please repeat these prayers after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, today I repent of my sins. Please come into my heart. Forgive my sins. Wash me with your blood. Give me the power to turn away from sin and to follow you in truth and in spirit all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, Father, thank you for these precious ones who have made this confession, boldly stepping out to declare their stand for you. Lord, have mercy. Wash their sins away and write their names in the book of life lay your mighty hands upon them and keep them in the faith thank you father in jesus name and amen the lord bless you the lord bless you in jesus name you may go back to your seat but the moment we share the grace josh please locate them amen immediately and take their data for the sake of follow-up prayers the second category of people i want to pray for are people that you you have been going through some challenges and you know hell is behind it this is not god trying to chastise, chastise you this is not god trying to frustrate you You know that hell is behind this program of frustration you are going through. Affliction that is mysterious. A challenge that is mysterious. A problem that is mysterious. How do we explain a lady who lived a life of purity? Lived in virginity all her life. Got married properly. Didn't sin. And then after getting married, she's now believing God for fruit of the womb. And she has been married for 20 years, no child. How do you explain a lady...